Yeah. So once again, uh, good afternoon to one and all. Uh, a warm welcome to the webinar series uh, jointly organized by Junior Science Club and the Innovation Club members of the University of Hyderabad. So uh, uh, firstly, I'd like to welcome you all and thank uh, everyone for uh, coming at a small short notice given to uh, many of the student fraternity. So uh, the series will be having a certain uh, webinars on the creativity and innovation activities performed by uh, the uh, junior science club activities and followed by the uh, innovation club members. So uh, in this process, uh, this is the first event which we are jointly organizing uh, so that a wide exposure is given to uh, many of the student fraternities and as well as the uh, faculty and the staff fraternity to be aware of the uh, innovation activities which have been uh, planned as well as which are to be executed in the uh, near future. So uh, we'll have a, a more information about the planned activities and, and uh, other set of uh, things to be planned. Uh, let me just uh, we start the session with uh, inviting Professor Srikan, uh, who has volunteered to give uh, 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 this particular webinar session uh, to have an understanding of the creativity and the innovations, how this can be uh, originated and how this can be implemented, of course, and uh, how this to be carried forward uh, jointly by the uh, various uh, clubs uh, which have been under the umbrella of University of Hyderabad. Uh, uh, welcome, sir, and uh, may I request uh, Professor Srikant, sir, to take over the session. And, uh, please, uh, uh, sir, will introduce himself and we'll start the uh, basic session on this particular aspect. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, one and all. So, Professor uh, Srikant, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. I thank uh, Dr. Nagendra for introducing me to you. Uh, I am uh, Srikant. I am professor in the School of Engineering, Sciences and Technology, University of Hyderabad. And I am also a part of this uh, institution's innovation council at uh, UOH, uh, which was established by Ministry of Education. Uh, today, I will be presenting uh, to you uh, some uh, uh, you know rudimentary uh, basics of creativity and innovation uh, in an attempt to motivate at least uh, some of you, I mean the students, uh, to consider uh, take activities related to creativity and innovation while pursuing uh, the regular studies in the domain of their interest. Uh, before I go into the presentation, I uh, wish to uh, state uh, three things. Uh, this presentation is exclusively for the students, and this presentation has been made uh, uh, by keeping in mind science, engineering, and technology. And uh, the most important one here, uh, which I want to state, uh, is uh, uh, that generating uh, innovative ideas uh, is a systematic uh, process. It uh, involves, there are techniques basically, well-tested and well-documented techniques like any other techniques, like techniques in any other subject like physics, chemistry, engineering. Uh, and through proper training in these techniques, in fact, anyone can generate uh, innovative ideas. Now let us begin uh, with uh, the definition of uh, creativity. Um, um creativity uh, is uh excuse me sir i'm very sorry to interrupt uh, your voice is kind of muffled are you using a microphone uh no, i'm not using a microphone i'm using the phone the mic in the uh, in the laptop and i do it regularly for my classes uh, is it the same for others please i don't think so uh, i think we are clear with the voice sir please go ahead yeah. sir Asubi, you might have to check uh, at your end. <laughs> OK. OK. Now, creativity is uh, bringing new ideas uh, related to uh, products, practices, procedures, and so on into existence. And of course, these ideas uh, are aimed potentially to help the uh, society. Now, it is a classical example of a creative idea 
uh, is uh, you know the idea of uh, using a thumb you know using a thumb uh, um, which has come into the existence using a thumb um, that came into existence uh, more than 2 million years ago another example i can cite here is uh, uh, the idea of uh, deriving electricity from plants you know uh, as if you you know you pin uh, your electrical device like a bulb to the stem of a plant and then you you switch a bulb now let, let let us let us see in the following slide how useful these ideas are for us after defining the uh, innovation we will we'll come back to these examples once we define also the uh, the word innovation now innovation uh, is a practical application of creative ideas Uh, to solve uh, pertinent problems or to bring out a new product through your practice or so on and so on and uh, under the real world constraints when i say real world constraints for example time is one constraint uh, we have seen in the case of uh, vaccination development for covid uh, covid 19 was uh, a new that is why we call it as novel now virus and uh, we soon came to know that it is deadly and consumes the human easily and by the way humans uh, uh, are weakest in the nature uh, and we uh, needed to we, we need a new ideas to combat it and in doing so uh, we were running against the time and uh, of course we, sh- we now we should be indebted to all those people who have uh, contributed to combat uh, uh, covid in with their uh, innovation uh, innovative idea now application when i say application of creative ideas it involves uh, considering the idea first of all positively develop, developing it by uh, doing research you know required research testing it using the allowed protocol and sometimes you might have to also uh, invent protocol new protocol using the idea and then enjoying the benefits of it now let us consider the idea of the thumb here uh, which uh, i mentioned uh, uh, previously uh, luckily uh, at that point of time at that point in time uh, the humans were wise enough to uh, consider the idea you know i'm talking about early humans uh, hominins and uh, uh, the ones before them uh, take it up develop the idea by whatever means it took we don't know what means uh, at that point of time and the rest is history why is it free now we say that the thumb played a crucial role in human evolution now uh, it helped actually the humans to make tools effective tools very useful tools and also use them effectively now imagine what would have been our flight if the idea of using the thumb was not positively taken up when it was first proposed i leave it to your imagination you know we would we would imagine that uh, we, we we still don't know how to use the thumb and therefore we do, will not know how to use your use our hands now let's come to the uh, second of course you have uh, these are all experimental there are experimental evidences if you want to more into this uh you can uh, search for the work published by uh, professor harvati from uh, university of tubing and germany uh going to the next one uh all over the world uh, people are striving for green energy uh, that is the energy derived from uh, renewable sources and to avoid pollution minimize pollution and so on this idea of deriving uh, electricity from from plants actually fits in here you know uh, as a as a green uh, energy source now the idea was again positively taken up it was developed a lot of research went into it and it has been shown that through a phenomenon called contact electrification which is a well known phenomenon in physics conversion of involves contact electrification actually involves conversion of mechanical energy into electrical energy it was it is proved now that a single leaf may generate you know more than 150 volts of uh, you know voltage enough to simultaneously power 100 led light bulbs 
each time a leaf each time the leaf is touched you know it is like suppose a wind uh, you know carries mechanical energy wind energy touches the leaf to generate actually the electricity idea which was unique book novel has been now realized the uh, the benefit you can you can get benefited um, uh, from such a such an innovative idea now again these are all these results you can see here uh, the results are well documented in advanced functional medicine a well known journal uh, in people eating and this research has been conducted by a group in uh, italy and it is still going on now what making this uh, the uh, sorry okay is <clears throat> are the slides visible as is something some problem with me okay now while making uh, the society the so called you know we we, we always the humans uh, you know always wanted to uh, develop the society you know? we call it a so called developed society we intervene humans uh, intervene and that uh, caused many uh, problems in nature and now we have to address those issues uh, those problems we created uh, in developing the society to sustain life on this planet now to solve problems it could be a problem related to environment it could be a problem related to energy it could be a problem related to health and so on to solve these problems we need new idea and in some literature and business related text actually the innovation is referred to as converting ideas or knowledge into wealth but wealth here doesn't uh, necessarily mean uh, becoming rich or making money it means conversion of ideas that protect the environmental health that give clean air and water ideas conversion of ideas uh, that Protect, that produce good quality food, that give effective medicines and Medicare, that allow us to build robust living spaces, that allow us to fabricate the waste tools and machines, and so on. Not only for the present day society, but also for the future. Now we, the modern humans, too can think like uh, like the early humans. and most of us are in fact creative thinkers but unfortunately uh, due to lack of know how we don't know the, about the technique we don't know what exactly we mean we, we don't exactly know you know clearly know what creativity and innovation are we don't know that training can be given and of course other unwarranted socio economic uh, you know barriers, even personal barriers our ideas because of all these our ideas remain unknown and unexplored and hence this presentation now how do we get uh, new ideas now we get uh, uh, now at, you know the question at this juncture is this you know, how do we get ideas now we get uh, new ideas when we make a serious 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 effort uh, to look for possibility now looking for possibilities involves again a serious effort to connect even the unconnected now for example the printing press the invention uh, of printing press invention which is an important innovation in the modern era modern era is includes us too uh. now this printing press came into the existence because john is Gutenberg uh, a well known german uh, inventor was able to connect three unconnectable oil based ink wine press and paper and then he he innovated uh, and then he uh, for us now we have printing presses and we of course with time improve uh, the ink we improve the press we also improve the quality of the paper but this is the first time in the modern era that this 
uh, because of this connection because of the serious the serious effort he made in connecting uh, even the unconnectable we have uh, uh, the printing press now but for this to happen we need to uh, most of us uh, we need to open up and explore various possibilities in the mind at least because most of the times we we are afraid to uh, discuss about our ideas and open up in public now we need to go beyond the thing that are just in front of us you know before the innovation uh, of the printing press probably gutenberg was working with the wine but not with the oil based ink and paper but mind you gutenberg also invented or innovated and innovated by but because he was trained to innovate he was he was trained to innovate he could go beyond wine press he could go beyond this is this is a typical wine press and he could go beyond the wine press and he could connect paper with wine press and also the oil based ink the wine now train innovate involves a strong dependence on on hypothesis speculation and and uh, intuition we should not be afraid uh, to uh, you know to test the hypothesis also propose the hypothesis speculate and test intuition and test this is the first and foremost in 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 uh, uh, getting a new idea now when do we look for possibilities you know we have seen that we get ideas when we uh, you know when we look for possibilities then the next question is when do we look for possibilities we look for possibilities when we want to know the reason behind some observation this mainly happens in fundamental research you know for example an, an apple falling uh, from the tree you know, uh, somebody observes that and wants to find out the reason why the apple is fi- uh, falling uh, onto the ground but the point i want to also convey that newton did not did not uh, you know uh, did not uh, uh, talk about uh, the uh, gravitation uh, because of the fall of the apple he was he was actually working on some planetary motions and then he came up with the uh, the, uh, the the gravitation but anyhow we look for possibilities when we want to find a solution for the problem for example plastic is a big problem nowadays okay so we want to find out solutions how to deal with it once the plastic is produced it is very difficult to uh, get rid of it now most of it uh, stays on this planet in some form or the other and when do we look for possibility we want to better any existing idea okay can we have for example an implanted mobile phone which can pick up we think and do the needful upgrading from 4g to 5g communication services another example and we look for possibilities when we want to bring out something for the first ever you know maybe your own space vehicle using which you can take your family on a space tour but unfortunately most of us because of the poor training we are fixed borrowing reasons and solutions and we often leave the the, the, the other two bettering and innovation to others we, we say that it is not our cup of tea borrowing doesn't actually uh, help us in thinking differently which is as is plays here is the most important aspect in innovation now uh, thinking differently implies looking for possibilities even for context which are quite new to us now let us say there is a problem a uh, problem at hand with respect to forensic science but you are a painter and forensic science is quite new. but you can still apply your mind and still look for possibilities that is what i mean to say i think differently you might be you might have studied physics but with thinking differently you may innovate something in economics now what is required to innovation innovate first is the foremost uh, first and foremost is the motivation it could be an intrinsic motivation or 
develop motivation you might come across some presentation some reading some literature that may motivate you to innovate in some humans it is intrinsic it is by by but it is there overcoming personal barriers is very important in uh, in innovation for example fear of being ridiculed oh if i give an idea would i be ridiculed would i be made fun of or what people would think about my idea i should not uh, appear as stupid before uh, others resource myopia is another example there is one example of it you know you don't seem to recognize the resource and uh, you know in in the people around a school teacher scolded a boy for not paying attention and not able to solve simple mathematical problems or mathematic problem the teacher told the boy that he wouldn't become anyone in life but the boy's mother had a strong belief in the boy of course mother's love you can think of she trained him in mathematics and because of this we have the theory of relativity you know the boy turned out to be einstein mental energy you know this is also important requirement to innovate what is it we need to keep and engage until success or failure and of course you need to uh, spend time quality time on this and hard work these are requirements to okay. now i'm going to what is required to it how many skills you know all of them are needed actually you need to think you need to read you need to learn you need to remember and we can forget once we get a degree uh, you know that learning is a is a lifelong process that has to become a part and parcel of your life you need to remember several things you need to remember the reason you need to reason you need to find out the reason you need to try to find out the reason and of course also pay attention which is also very important and these are basic uh, cognitive skills one would talk about and we need to actually uh if if we feel that we are not at something reading or something we need to improve that quality divergent thinking is needed you know you should allow spontaneous thinking free flow of ideas and non linear thinking you know you should think only in this manner no you should always keep in mind or rather we should keep always in mind that idea is an idea until it is proven wrong stupid or silly we are only proving the idea to be stupid on the person or the persona you should suspend all the judgment am i doing it to earn money am i doing it to become famous am i doing it for something else or what will happen what will be the future after i succeed or failure whatever it is all such judgments have to be suspended in order to innovate and another important requirement to innovate is the domain specific knowledge so that you need to get your we need to educate ourselves we need to train ourselves we need to gain the experience and also gain textual knowledge if you don't know anything about something which is required for your innovation you need to gain the knowledge is no hurry uh, to innovate and you know become famous or rich or you know start a company or something like that now there is a big conceptual block for innovation especially in the context of countries like india you know we strongly depend on formal education we strongly depend on experience and unfortunately it has been two research it has been proved that you know these two are conceptual blocks for innovation they are good i am not saying that they are bad but they are blocks formal education often leads to right answers yes no doubt analytical rules and regulations and of course the limitation experience teaches proper ways of doing things yes specialized you will have specialized knowledge sometimes over specialization rigid expectation you have to do this you know you have to succeed you have to get this by by the end of today something like that such expectations actually and whoever participates in this you know uh, without knowing that they are in this uh, block they lose the ability to experiment they lose they lose the ability to improvise and 
also they don't have the ability to, to take mental detours they don't they they, they cannot uh, you know uh, they are not free in their mind actually now are there any uh, techniques yes the answer is yes there are techniques and techniques in fact well tested and well documented techniques that can help uh, attain a state called flow in 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 these you know in creativity and innovation terms there is something called flow which is uh, known as autotelic experience in innovating what is it it is you know the flow is set to occur when people experience a state of effortless con concentration you don't need to you know put in effort to concentrate and the enjoyment while innovating you know you you a state of enjoyment you're completely enjoying whatever you are doing and in fact possible in in innovation when you follow these techniques and there are techniques uh, uh, for that now i have listed some of these techniques here i will not be uh, discussing all the techniques uh, but as i said there are techniques for creating new new ideas we you know one of them is attribute uh, listening you know this is especially good for engineering type of situation you know this is based on uh, uh, analytical techniques okay in this technique what the uh, people do is you know people involved in using attribute listening as a technique to create new ideas they break the situation into different constituent situations and look for different attributes they attribute as may they give attribute as many attributes as possible to the sub or the constituent of the main problem you know if it is a physical thing you want to create a machine that you want to fabricate a machine that, okay now you know we in this method as many attributes are possible you you dimate you, you you know break down the machine into several sub parts and each part you you keep giving attributes and in doing so you actually create new new idea another uh, you know very well known uh, uh, technique uh, we we don't know we simply use the word brain brainstorming we did a brainstorming session but we don't know that it is an it is a it, there are rules and regulations to do brainstorming it is a technique and only it will work out only if the technique is is followed only the rules and regulations are followed likewise brain right brain faxing visioning there are so many uh, techniques uh, here let us take brainstorming for example because we we keep here word often now brainstorming involves expressing you know say whatever comes to your mind without focusing on any constraint of course you do this by collecting a group of individuals uh, who have no ego and who respect the presence of the other people who respect the, the ideas of the other people they don't criticize they don't debate they don't you know evaluate others it is they don't evaluate others ideas only such people are gathered and and allowed to and they are allowed to express their ideas and here you if the quantity is important quantity of ideas number of ideas is important rather than the quality of the idea okay and you build on the, these ideas by uh, you know you expand by collecting all the ideas you and you expand by knowing the ideas of others okay you know others ideas in the group can trigger your your way of thinking and you get a new idea and at the end you have many ideas and among which you can even rate you know if you if on conduct and brainstorming session you can actually rate unknowing you know you nobody knows whose idea is is uh, is that but everybody is forced to rate an idea okay my idea i know what it is i might give a, give it a big uh, a good rank but others may not know but then i need to also rank other ideas which are collected and therefore you will have the best of you know ranked well ranked ideas and from there you can find the solution but you know because we don't undergo uh, uh, you know training in this brainstorming session it is uh, we we you know we lightly use that word and we say that we had a brainstorming session the first and foremost for the brainstorming session successful 
is that it should be conducted by an independent facilitator but we we don't know that it should be done most of us don't know maybe some of you know but we one of the group actually conducts and therefore it is already biased okay the the exercise is already biased so if one follows these um, you know techniques which are well documented you know within brain brainstorming there are 20 you know 15 to 20 techniques to to be adopted depending on the depending on the requirement okay so it is very important uh, if somebody wants to participate you, sh- you should be you should encourage yourself uh, because you know with the smartness you have especially the students who are participating here and i know i have interacted with many of the students who who are uh, i can see some of them i can recognize some of them with the sort of smart you have and with the sort of training you can get you can you can enjoy innovating things day by day you know every day you can bring out some innovative idea and then you know uh, you you can enjoy uh, doing okay now uh, as i said this presentation is made uh, keeping in mind uh science engineering and uh, technology and often we are confused what what science deals and what engineering and technology deals and we 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 think that innovation most of us do, you know uh, think that uh, you know maybe science people should take uh, uh, the lead the engineering people should take the lead but no it is actually a combination engineering and technology depends on the scientific principle and science actually questions about the nature the fundamental Uh, fundamental nature it involves inquiry and discovery methods basically while the engineering talks about problems that you know adapting to the environment that surrounds us you know we design and invent strategies to deal with the problem in engineering and technology and this is based on scientific principles without science there is no engineering and technology and of course once they get developed they are hand in hand and in science you propose an explanation uh after you are after uh, adopting the methods and acquiring doing research and you give a reason you propose an action but in engineering and technology you propose a solution you give out a solution and of course the solution is again done the explanation okay you cannot give a solution without an explanation and both of them are into the society in fact it is combination of the explanation and solution that, that is what is helpful for the society and in doing so you have new questions you have new problems and you keep uh, answering the new questions and finding solutions to uh, to to the new problems with a combination of science engineering and technology and therefore there is a great need uh, for us to inculcate interdisciplinary education interdisciplinary know how interdisciplinary conceptual uh, conceptual knowledge and so on now this is very important especially when when we deal with innovation that involves uh, you know bringing out products procedures new procedures practices and so now for all these things to happen of course in between there is a, there are different stages of, of, of innovation what are they they are broadly classified into four preparation which involves the uh, idea an innovative idea you know you develop the idea verify the idea that verification whether it will work out or not whether it is scientific or not and once you prove and doubt that it is scientifically sound and technologically possible you start uh, the process called incubation or starting a you know a startup like thing uh, starting a small company and you know and try to uh to uh, reach the user saying that you see i have a better better solution i have a better solution to a problem and then comes the realization here is one example you know we recognize uh, the plastic and you know in the nature uh, you know uh, humans as well as other living beings actually are uh, affected by the uh, pollution you know here the plastic pollution here you can see a sea animal Uh, affected strongly now by the by the by the pollution in the uh, in the water by the plastic pollution in the water we fabricate bags you know here you see a, a lady a girl carrying a polythene uh, or a or a bag kind of thing to carry goods now if it these bags with plastic this is the problem 
but there is an idea of why can't we make with, with such bag uh, to hold things with uh, something which can be edible for example cassava you know and that is the idea you do a lot of research you verify you you actually uh, fabricate bags from uh, you know uh, a green source like this you know like cassava which is edible you can eat the bag actually you can carry and you can also eat the bag and then you incubate i say i have a new idea i verified it i did lot of research now it is now it is beyond uh, doubt that i can make bags out uh, using cassava uh, which is a which is a edible it's a vegetable basically a root vegetable okay and then you say okay i want to start a company i want to see that most of us most of us in the world use uh, these bags instead of uh, the polymeric uh, uh, bag okay and then if you are successful you can promote you can if you can promote uh, your idea you realize the product and therefore we can reduce the the, uh, the pollution uh, that the plastic creates in the public in the in the in the environment in the nature now for all this to happen you know uh, starting with ideas encouragement you know um, verification incubation and realization you need a good ecosystem first and foremost is the motivation you know activity is related to challenge you know somebody should challenge somebody should have to encourage fun to motivate to have challenges motivate to participate in challenges motivate to you know participate in fun activity empowerment you should you know we should have freedom we should have liberty we should uh, we should uh, say okay your msc classes your mtech classes are fine but you also have time uh, freedom uh, you know to do something else that support is needed you know uh, support in all terms including the monetary you know funding for example you need energy dynamism you need to allow dialogue okay across discipline you need openness you need to allow experimentation maybe dangerous risky but you should you should still allow you should trust the idea you should trust the people involved and these four constitute a good ecosystem to innovate and fortunately uh, university of hyderabad of late maybe for the past 5 6 years of course it has been a research based university uh, and well known uh, in the circles uh, but of late maybe 5 6 years back you know this ecosystem has started evolving in it's still evolving but i at this is a sign i see most of them uh, you know uh, a part of uh, uh, this uh, ecosystem and there are different activities different clubs in the institutions within the university which allow uh, uh, to allow people to innovate when i say people uh, students non teaching staff teaching staff anyone and if you have a uh, you know an idea innovate idea there are place to go with that idea it, there are methods there are procedures there are there, there is support uh, to develop that idea there is a support to conduct research there is a support to verify there is a support to even incubate you can incubate you can start your own company on university of hyderabad campus and of course uh, you can further take it uh, into a big business uh, uh, thing if interested but uh, yeah this particular ecosystem actually is in place uh, and i'm very fortunate uh, that uh, it is it is still evolving and and many people uh, like minded people are involved in this activity and with this i wish to conclude because i wanted to speak from 2 to 245 and i see that it is 245 thank you uh, uh, thanks a lot for your attention and uh, yeah if there are any doubts i'll be happy to take yeah thank you professor uh, srikant uh, now the session is open for any uh, question answers uh, students you can put forward your uh, queries you can even uh, well, type if you if you wish yeah. to uh, you can use the chat option and you can just put forward your questions
uh, well, uh, thank you, Professor uh, Professor Srikanth sir, uh, for taking your time to prepare uh, for such a, an extraordinary and honorable presentation. Uh, really, you have shared your insights uh, 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 for this uh, making understanding of innovation and uh, creativity. What are the intricacies involved in that, and how the things, the activities can be carried forward, and so on and so forth. Uh, I hope the students and the other uh, uh, teaching and the staff fraternity may have at least uh, uh, enlightened or may had a may had a, a thought process about uh, how do we move forward. So uh, anyway, you can uh, uh, the participants uh, you can put forward your queries uh, for the next ten to fifteen minutes. Uh, the session will be live. And uh, you can put your uh, queries if you have anything on this presentation. Uh, just moving forward, uh, uh, just uh, as you have understood in the presentation uh, about the evolving ecosystem uh, at the University of Hyderabad. So uh, there are various uh, opportunities and there is a potential to tap for many activities to be done uh, jointly by the science club members and the innovation club members. So uh, now, just for the coming five to ten minutes, uh, for all the participants who are attending this session, just to make you to aware, uh, what are all the avenues that they are uh, available uh, under the umbrella of University of Hyderabad, and uh, how best you can uh, make these uh, uh, avenues and the opportunities that are there for you to strengthen your skills uh, in the idea generations and trying to implement them and moving forward. Uh, so uh, the, we have in this presentation today with uh, us, uh, uh, professor, uh, uh, the professors and as well as that uh, teaching st uh, teaching members and as well as the student members. Uh, so just to quickly brief you about uh, the activities which have been carried forward under this uh, UH umbrella. So may I request uh, anyone from the uh, Junior Science Club or the from the Innovation Club. Uh, can uh, can please come forward and try to uh, just uh, give a glimpse of what are all the activities that are being carried and it, uh, what are things can be done or executed in the near future and how best uh, students can use those facilities and other things. So may I request anyone of, from the Junior Science Club or from the Innovation Club just to highlight, highlight or just to give briefly about uh, the activities which have been done in the past or planned for the near future so that the participant can appreciate and can understand and they can try to involve in these activities. I hope I'm clear to you. Is my voice clear to you, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so let me just start with the uh, for the, all the participants uh, who are in the session. Uh, for your awareness, uh, the Innovation Club, uh, the uh, advancements is that the uh, a physical place has been identified in the science block uh, the last year itself, and the management uh, has taken a very good initiative in uh, uh, making availability of certain facilities. Uh, of course, from the engineering and the technologies perspective, and uh, I am also aware that the management has already uh, given some grant to procure some of the uh, electronic and electrical gadgets, uh, so that as the students can uh, carry forward some of their ideas, if they are there, they can go for the implementation and develop certain prototypes. So uh, this innovation club. Uh, uh, the physically the it is going to be located in the science club uh, and uh, the uh, equipments and the necessary things that needs to be carried forward and so that uh, you can use those gadgets you can use that physical space you can get the mentoring from the teachers uh, uh, so i will be uh, uh, volunteering and i will be the faculty coordinator if the students who are interested in put forwarding their ideas and uh, developing certain prototypes uh, maybe it can be a science and interdisciplinary ideas can also be uh, taken forward so you can either approach uh, uh, me or one of the science coordinators the members 
either in the junior science club or in the uh, innovation club members you can approach any one of them and you can start exploring uh, and you can take the advantage of uh, the facilities that have been uh, provided for us to make sure that activities are done properly so please tap in that button uh, tap the potentials what are available for us so if you want to explore more you can interact with us and you can get uh, more information of course there are various forums and portals are also available uh, like on the facebook and as well as on the uh, uh, twitter handles and uh, the uh, university websites uh, i hope uh, you are getting the information but please do uh, canvas this information about the facilities and other uh, uh, features that will help the, your co students to explore various other uh, activities that can be done jointly with the help of uh, Mm, with the help of uh, these uh, clubs and uh, take the benefit of the uh, teachers, uh, those who are uh, volunteering these uh, activities. And uh, of course, uh, just uh, please have that kind of culture where uh, not only your subjects, uh, I know that most of the students do have the problem uh, of getting the time to do these experiments. Yes, uh, there will be six subjects, uh, two or three practicals. So totally there will be around six to nine courses in a semester. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, see if you have the passion to explore and if you have the zealness to uh, move forward, uh, getting time to explore with the new technologies and uh, exploring the science activities, it should not be a problem at all. Uh, so you need to just manage your time, have a proper timetable, and uh, make, make yourself engage uh, in making the things uh, that will be useful for the mankind. So Professor uh, Srikansar has rightly mentioned, ultimately the uh, cul uh, culmination of science and engineering, they are going to be used by you for our society and for our mankind. So definitely the association of this science and technology will definitely uh, will improve our standards and it will be improved for our mankind. So, of course, if, if you are moving in a positive direction and everything will be sorted out, the time will not be a constraint at all. So, just be positive and uh, uh, we request and we urge all the students, uh, even uh, you, you have, if, if it's a small inclination, at least to get some understanding and get some awareness, Please do interact with the teachers as well as with the co student members and the coordinators, your student coordinators, and everybody. And they will be definitely uh, helpful for you. And they, are, uh, uh, they will def uh, definitely allocate certain uh, some time for you to interact with you and try to solve your uh, problems. Um, so, if you have any doubts or queries, uh, please let forward uh, so that we would like to hear from you. And uh, uh, so that uh, at least in the near future, we will try to uh, improve or in what direction we have to move forward. Uh, that will be a good input for us. So students, uh, I can see that at least uh, around 40 plus are at, of course, there are some students who are on and off during the session, but it is, uh, the number is coming to around 50, but at least the 40 plus students are regularly uh, have attended the complete session. So please do put forward your uh, queries. So we'll try to uh, answer these things. Uh, yeah, so the session is open for our uh, question answers. And uh, please do remember like this, we'll have a, a couple of more sessions uh, that will help you to uh, engage yourself in this uh, creativity and innovations. Uh, uh, of course, during this uh, uh, process, uh, we would like you to participate in various competitions that will be helpful for us, uh, not only for us, for you to explore the things in this competitive world. So, yeah, any queries, please put forward. Uh, anything that we can try to help you and which you're looking for very, very much. Yes, a comment, not a query, but uh, thanks. <laughs> Dr. Nahendra Kumar Teru for uh, organizing this webinar. I'm Srinath here. I would like to thank uh, Srikant also for this wonderful lecture. Uh, most importantly for the students, as uh, Dr. Nahendra Kumar informed, that the university is now keen on you know, involving more and more students across the disciplines in, particip in to participate in these kind of innovation activities. And uh, as Srikant also mentioned in his talk, 
that we have now incubation centers okay we buy an ace and also tide so there are incubation centers uh, which can take forward your ideas and uh, from innovation club also university is ready to give i mean as allocated space and also is ready to give some funding so if you have any idea or if you want to test any hypothesis please get in touch with the concerned i mean any faculty member or any one of us and then we can put forward a proposal and then make sure that that can be you know tested and then go we'll take it to the next level so while you are at university while you are studying for your uh, graduate and post graduate uh, studies the same time you you don't need to wait you know to test your uh, kind of uh, ideas so this is uh, also a time when you can get we can use this opportunity and then uh, test your ideas and then contribute and be really become you know a uh, good innovators so with that uh, so i thought uh, this would be a very good beginning so please encourage students to join more and more for such activities and be open okay you ask unless you give some feedback it will not be very, i mean will not be able to know in which direction we have to go forward so please ask peris yes yeah, i see that uh, disha is uh, has a question please yeah thank you sir uh, since we are new to this uh, the knowing about innovation club i just wanted to know like one example of uh, maybe when a student has brought an idea to the club in the past and how uh, they uh, like moved up like how did it work out like i just want to know one example i guess or something which happened yeah yeah yes uh, yeah sir uh, yes yeah, sir uh, 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 yes disha uh, so last time what happened and today's lecture also professor srikant sir uh, uh, he insisted at one point is whatever the idea the student is getting uh, whether it is scientifically correct or incorrect uh, whether this idea works uh, uh, for the benefit of the society or some other case some other theme so if that is the case a group of students every year there will be a national innovation contest suppose if we want to know the uh, we want to justify or we need to judge about that idea at least uh, yes last time what happened is um seven teams they have come up with their own ideas in healthcare in um, various uh, like uh, scarcity of uh, uh, like water uh, uh, how to agriculture and all these things so out of seven uh, now i think uh, the part uh, the team members are there right now in this uh, platform one of the team member is uh, lucky tolani he is from mca fourth semester student uh, am i audible Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they have done is uh, actually, as uh, university appointed me as a single point of contact for a Smart India Hackathon events, as well as innovation coordinator for a UAH IIC cell. So, uh, like, uh, be registered means I have registered that team under I NIC contest. All the seven teams. So. uh they went to the preliminary rounds and uh, first stage second stage at last out of seven teams only one team uh, the idea like idea we have submitted an idea they have submitted the proof of concept i think for an idea and proof of concept uh, experimental results or uh, something prototype is not required only an idea submission and the proof of concept based on that one the experts of uh, from mhrd uh, uh, they have uh, screened this uh, particular idea so later uh, they announced that yes uh, this idea uh, can be carried forward and uh, they themselves mhrd themselves they have uh, uh, as professor srikant sir is also telling there is a lack of training so training sessions were given to the students uh, mentors from various reputed institutions all over the india so the mentors gave the training to them for the particular idea 
then uh, they have end up with the prototype then uh, they build the prototype they build the prototype i think uh, whatever in the training they uh, like uh, they got the facts that how to move and not only that one now the university is planning that before going on to nic uh, like we whatever your idea we will be evaluating by the experts the same has been done for these students also the industry experts as and when got the idea the industry experts we called the, the industry experts and they have uh, given uh, some feedback to that uh, uh, idea or prototype uh, uh, in order to build that prototype then uh, after that one we have uploaded then later on from the mhrd they have trained and uh, this uh, excuse me ma'am yeah. i i will add one point at this time uh, sorry for interrupting uh, you can please continue ma'am after my point see the idea was one of the idea in the last year was see several users have uh, n number of passwords see one idea which was been uh, selected and it has won the prize in the smart india hackathon uh, the basic the problem here is uh, every user user of any uh, electronic device uh, usually has so many passwords you now it will be uh, difficult for a user to remember many passwords for many types of applications see like what you are using a uh, google when you are using a google mail you have a password similarly for your uh, social networking websites like facebook or whatsapp what or it may be you have different different passwords so you have banking transactions you have different passwords so for a customer or for any, any individual uh, to remember all the passwords was diff difficult so that team has proposed an idea it was an idea given from the students itself uh, a, a, a cryptographic algorithm Uh, they have proposed uh, to rem in instead of remembering many passwords, uh, they have come up with an idea about having uh, one particular secured mechanism. So that was the idea. It was originated from the students, and that uh, the idea was being put forward to the competition. And the mentors, along with the teachers of our institution, uh, they have uh, carried forward and they have given the prototype ultimately at the demonstration. So that is one problem statement. That is. Uh, instead of having multiple passwords uh, what is the best mechanism to have a single authentication process that is one thing that was in the last year that uh, idea has won that uh, prize and similarly this year also there is one, another team who, uh, who is also working on the web applications so these are the uh, some kind of ideas uh, these uh, teams have come and the madam is now continuing with that actually the what was happened and how the things have taken place so may i request ma'am to just uh, continue ma'am Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank may, you. May also add something before. Yeah, yeah. Please, sir. Please, sir. That will be really uh, good for the students. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, from the School of Engineering, Sciences, and Technology, uh, a group of students uh, identified uh, that there is uh, there are lacunae in uh, in uh, hospital uh, bed mattresses. No, you, in hospitals you need the warming mattress. Okay, for children, for elderly, you know, different requirements are there. But uh, you know, there are still some lacunae in in uh, that, and they have identified that lacunae and came up with a an, uh, with an idea of uh, changing the materials in order to uh, effectively uh, bring out effectiveness in uh, in in the uh, in the heating or the warming uh, mattress. Okay, that idea was uh, submitted uh, as a idea, and then. Um, Uh, it was elaborated you know why 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 you think about this idea uh, what do you want to do how, why do you think that it will work and all that okay and that uh, has been presented uh, in the in the competition but otherwise also it is an idea basically it is it doesn't mean that it, it uh, if it is not selected in the competition it cannot be uh, pursued in the university of hyderabad okay there are other other bodies where you can again you can still take this idea and say i have this idea and i want to make a product okay so there is there is an ecosystem in the university there are there are several uh, including the innovation club there are several places where this idea is found to be good uh, you know uh, there will be experts who will evaluate the idea and tell you that okay make these modifications and then it becomes an effective idea and we can uh, 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 move forward okay 
and once uh, the team recognizes the importance of the uh, of the idea you get monetary support you get support to do research you need uh, you will get support to procure materials you need you will you will get support to you know uh, companies who can take up this idea and make these mattresses you know and in fact if if the, uh, the verification is done you can even incubate your own company if, if, if your idea seems really good and uh, and uh, uh you know engineeringly possible you know uh, you, you can start your own company and start producing your uh, own uh, you know uh, on your own warming mattresses that is the that, that is the that is the cycle uh, which is now uh, possible in university of hyderabad so you come up with some idea and uh, you say why why you have come up with this idea what do you want to solve or or, or uh, if you want to do something some new product uh, you know and there is a team who will uh, who will uh, evaluate that and if they find it to be very good they you will get support okay and you can do it uh, in the, in the time where your classes are not there actually you can you can, uh, you can participate in uh, you can uh, you know you can engage yourself in the act in order to develop that idea uh, so that is that is what is available now uh, in university of Hyderabad. it's not limited just to the faculty it, it, yeah, anyone uh, can in fact uh, um you know it's not only university of hyderabad uh, students uh, even from outside if somebody comes, uh, um, you know there is a, a dst department of science and technology technology enabling center actually in university of hyderabad the duty of the technology enabling center is to also encourage people from outside nearby uh, to come to the university of hyderabad and develop their ideas okay and the support in terms of finance support in time of, in, in terms of uh, equipment needed to develop that idea to conduct research uh, uh, around that idea all that support is given uh, through the technology enabling center okay that is another another uh, forum where you can uh, also put forward your uh, i am done with my uh, thing swarup uh, garu you can continue thank you so oh, much i hope ah. uh, uh, disha uh, disha whoever it is who asked disha right yes sir yeah, i hope uh, with uh, Na, uh, dr nagendra and my explanation and uh, dr swarupa rani's explanation which she will continue further uh, you got the clarity i mean, uh, maybe to some extent yes sir i definitely got much more clarity now thank you so much uh, thank you nagendra sir and srikant sir <clears throat> so Uh, yes uh, actually already shrikan sir uh, uh, he has uh, come up with the idea of worked uh, uh, this uh, what we call the mri compatible warm uh, patient mattresses so there are such ideas like now at the end uh, the secure health uh, electronic health record now this uh, came to the final stage and the mhrd uh, they asked the team members uh, to uh submit the final financial assessment financial assessment so maybe they will be giving the grants or they may fund to continue or uh, to build this prototype uh, and maybe I- i'm not sure but i came to know from uh, recent news that uh, they may be having a collaborating with the industry or other uh, uh, startup companies so this is one of the idea and uh, even uh, our uh, one of uh, like some of the team members they have come up with the voice prescription that really uh, internal experts i would like to tell here that internal experts were really impressed with this idea and they have given the feedback if i can recollect correctly they have given a feedback that a web based ui for appointment and uh, uh, they suggested that convert audio to text uh, use uh, use some google speeches to text api or uh, some machine translation see uh, these are really uh, great feedbacks and uh, team also try to incorporate all these things so uh, yeah if you are having any idea any idea you come forward you come forward 
not only for the competition if you want to know about whether that idea is scientifically it can be carried forward or the way you are interpreting or visualizing or it is really beneficial at least you come forward and uh, you can uh, bring to the notice of uh, the uh, uh, council members or so and so forth maybe the internal experts will go through that thing and uh, we make uh, carry forward to further uh, uh, to build a prototype and so and so forth so with this uh, i'll uh, end uh, like uh, some of uh, i have concluded some of the factors if still if you want to need the details uh, uh yes you can uh, mail me at any time if you want in internal details of an isc or anything so that uh, uh i may help you and along with uh, maybe i can uh, 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 like i can uh, tell to the forwarding authorities that if there is any grant or financial support required yes we can uh, uh forward the same to the uh, president iic or uh, some other uh, board so that we will be getting so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity uh, dr nagendra sir uh, thank you so much sir it's yeah. over to you sir yeah. thank you ma'am uh, thank you for, for informing us about those competitions and how the ideas have got evolved and how they are being implemented uh, so please uh, if you have any queries uh, please put forward uh, Uh, just uh, one more request okay then if you are not having any queries at this moment uh, well it's okay so if you have any other queries at the later stage please you put forward to any of the Uh, club members, either IA junior science club members or uh, innovation club members, or to your friends, or somehow to somehow if you can reach ourselves, uh, our email IDs are there on the websites, so you can uh, reach to us and you can start interacting and we move forward. I, I thank uh, uh, one and all for making this uh, session to be live, and of course you have taken your uh, valuable time and uh, attending this session. Hope. Uh, Uh, some of your queries have been answered and uh, we will be looking forward for your participation actively in various uh, other uh, joint activities which we are going to plan it for the near future and we hope you will be participating those joint activities too and uh, you will be benefited uh, with much more knowledge and skills uh, if everything is okay then uh, if i just forward some points sir please uh, professor sina sir professor uh, you can just put forward If I forgot some points, then no, 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 everything is fine. I think we can conclude. Maybe students can interact with us any time, as you rightly said. It's not yeah. necessary now. We can, we can, we can keep on, you know, approaching any, any, any time. Yes. So I think we can probably close this session now. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Professor Narendra Kumar Garu. Yeah. Th thank you, and, sir. Uh, thank you, Professor Sina, yeah, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Srikant. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you yeah. to the students, actually students for yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. yes, sir. and yes. attending this session. Because in spite of your busy schedules with you know assignments and minors and tests, yes. and somebody is so joining now, sir. <laughs> yeah, but I think we, maybe we can get the information from others and also from recording later whenever it is posted. Yeah. Yes, the, yeah. The session is has been recorded and it will be posted on the uh, Innovation Council uh, portal. So I hope you will be able to. Uh, view it, and uh, if you have any queries, you can approach us. Thank you, thank you, one and all. Please take care of yourself. Uh, yeah, thank you. So we'll update thank you in the near future, uh, if, uh, the events details and all. Yeah, thank you. Now the session has been closed, please. Yeah.